All right, in this video, we're going to be going over uh, properties of logarithms. So let's say, let's say we have uh, some number n to um, multiply by log of x to the a, uh, log base x of a. So this would be the same as uh, this is equal to log base x of a to the n. You know what I mean? So if some number is multiplied by a logarithm, that's the same as that logarithm to the power of the inside. I mean, that's the same as the logarithm uh, with the same thing inside of it to the power of the thing it's being multiplied by. So an example of this would be like 2 uh, log base 3 of 4. That's equal to log base 3 of uh, 4 squared, which is equal to log base 3 of 16. Oh, crap. 16. Okay. So, you see how that works. Okay. So, let's also say we have a logarithm, and it's log base 3 of 5. So, it's asking 3 to what power equals 5? That's what this logarithm says. Okay, that's the same as writing the natural log of 5 over the natural log of 3. So it's the natural log of the inside over the natural log of uh, the base. So you remember the natural log from the other video. It's base E, which is Euler's number, Euler's constant, I think. Yeah. So <clears throat> this also should show us that let's say we have a logarithm. And it's log base 2 of uh, 3. Log base 2 of 3. 1 over log base 2 of 3. Now, this is the same as log 1 over natural log of 3 over the natural log of 2. Now, put that in parentheses. But then that's the same as natural log of 2 over natural log of 3. And if we put that back in the, just a regular logarithmic form with no natural logs like that, then we get log base 3 of 2. So, if we have 1 over natural log uh, some base to the power of, I mean, you know, of something inside the logarithm, we can just flip those two, and then that would be the reciprocal, and we get rid, like, we just get rid of the whole top part, and then it would be the same. You know, the 2 gets replaced with the 3, and the 3 gets replaced with the 2. Okay. So, let's go over, over some other properties of logarithms. Let's say we have the natural log of 5 plus the natural log of 2. Now, this is the same as saying the natural log of 10. This is because when we have natural log of some number x to plus natural log of a, some n some number a, that's the same as the natural log of ax, or xa. See, they just get multiplied. So, this also means, if we have the natural log of some number, let's say 3, uh, minus the natural log of some number uh, 6, then that's the same as writing the natural log of 3 over 6. You get what I mean? I hope you do. Okay. So, we could just simplify it. We could just simplify this down to, uh, oh crap. Okay, natural log of one half. Which, if you remember the properties of logarithm, the property of a logarithm that says, uh, you know, two. I mean, uh, some number to another power. Um, uh, yeah, n over goes over to a. It just gets to the power. This is the same as saying the natural log of 2 to the power of negative 1, which means we could just write that as uh, negative natural log of 2. Okay, so since we're on board, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back if you need some more math help. Uh, yep, have a good day.